Hello everyone, Black Ice here, and welcome back to Pokemon Uranium. It has been quite a while, but last time we left off, I did my Pokemon Uranium grindy stream, like maybe a little bit more than a month ago. Yeah, I've been gone because of school things. Um, I have an announcement slash channel update video up for more on that, but um, anyway, we're here today. I'll just show you guys where we left off in terms of our Pokemon. We got Mankey level 14, S'more level 14, Alton level 14, Chin Monk evolved into Kinet Monk. Um, I don't know if that was at level 14, and Orchinx is level 14, so we got a full team of level 14 Pokemon. We're doing pretty good in terms of that. So we're going to go head on up, or north, or whatever direction this is, to Burrow Town. Have not been here before. Um, I wonder what's over there. I guess we can go check it out, right? There's a bunch of Rock Smash Rocks. Uh, that's, yeah, it's a bunch of Rock Smash Rocks. I don't know what that's for. Oh, and we have a wild Pokemon encounter. Alright, and it's a Mareep. I like Mareep, but we already have an Electric type in Kinect Monk, so we're going to run away. And hope that I'm not over leveled for this place. I think I'm not over leveled though. We'll see. All right, what do you have to say? I know I'm a camper, but it's good when we get when we get oh when we get to a town. I thought when he said we get to town. Well, I guess that would have made sense too. After so many battles. Right. Um. Sorry, Mr. Camper. I messed up your sentence there. Burrow is lovely. I don't know you, but I'm sure you will agree with me. All right. Sounds good to me. You know what? I'm just going to be the guy here that goes like, Oh, gee, I sure am thirsty. Oh, wait, the road's closed. Those of you who've played the first Pokemon games may remember that. All right, let's go on up here. The music stopped. It's kind of weird. Burrow Town, yay. Welcome to Burrow. I'm the local town greeter. Local town greeter, huh? Oh, wow, he says something else, too. <laughs> yes, it's a real job, and I get paid for it. Of course, it can get kind of boring sometimes. Want to battle? Oh, well, I thought maybe he'd like to battle, you know, for fun, because it gets boring sometimes, but I guess not. I like the music here. It's, um, I believe Vermilion City Remix. Psh, be quiet. I'm playing the new game on the block, Pokemon Silver. Oh, that's actually kind of cool, because that means this game takes place back in, like, the year 2000 or something when Pokemon Silver came out. It was like around that time, it might have been 99. No. 2000. Or 2001. 2000. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I remember. Oh, I need to get Omphro's Medicine now. Oh, I remember that part of the game. I, I like that touch. Um, you're playing that in a DS though, guy. I don't think that's a new game on the block. You know, it doesn't look... Or maybe, maybe it's a Game Boy Advance. Yeah, let's, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. That's a Game Boy Advance. Let's see what... Whoa, hello. You are probably from Moki Town. That place is so bad. Oh well, thanks. Wait, what's what's up with that? What's with the hate on Moki Town? That's why you are so fascinated with Burl. Then I can just see it in those eyes. Okay. All right, let's go find someone else to talk to. That's a little bit less mean. Hello, officer. How goes it? You might be asking, what's a policeman doing here, just looking at flowers? Well, the thing is, these flowers are under arrest. They, see see that sign over there? It says, keep off the grass, and look at what those flowers are doing. Despicable. I should take them all in. Okay, okay, maybe that's not what he's saying. The thing is that this town is so peaceful and perfect that I don't have anything to do while working. I even get paid for that. Wow, you get paid to do nothing. I'd love to, love to be you. Hey, welcome to Lisa's Rustic Shop. Would you like to check out our store? Yeah! Welcome. How may I serve you? Um, bye. Ooh, this stuff is good, but it makes my Pokemon hate me. No thanks. Please come again. Bye-bye. Alright, well... Probably not, but you never know. Any luck today, fisherman? Every day is a nice day here. Alright, well that's great. That's really, really good to hear. Alright, what's this place? Oh, that's the gym. Okay, so I guess this is a rock gym. Leader is Davern, or Davern. I think it's Davern. I don't know. I'm gonna call him Davern. The master of cave exploration. Alright, well that's interesting. Oh, I have to pause the recording. I will be right back. Alright, I am back. Apologies for that. Um, let's see, where was I? Yeah, that was just uh, the mechanic calling. Um, so, 
It appears they have completely disassembled my car and that they're going to hold it for ransom. It's going to cost a couple thousand dollars for them to put it back together. No, um, uh, yeah, I was just... We, we, we get new brakes, new tires. For the winter. Great. The berry planting season has started. Wait, why am I telling you? Why not? I mean, you should love berries and just be passionate about having having berries and, you know, sharing what you like with other people. I think that's pretty fun. I hope that those hillbillies from now talking Kevlar Town stop visiting Burrow. They are so annoying. Well, it's not very nice to call them that. I mean, I'm sure they're they're nice people. Burrow Subway is still under construction, however. I can't use it yet. Okay. Hey, what, what, what's up? What are you looking at? You see that new building? That's the Tandor Subway. They have just finished it here and in Naltok as well. That's the best way to travel to distant towns now. How do you know? It's not done yet. He just said. Still under construction. How would you know it's the best way to, to travel? You never did it. There's, unless, maybe, I don't know. Alright, so I think I talked to everyone outside. Let's go inside the buildings, talk to everyone, heal up our Pokemon as well. Well, welcome to the Pokemon Center. You don't usually say anything different, so I am not going to uh, say what you're saying, because I disagree. Alright, what do you have to say, sir, kid, person? I don't know who you are. I just got beaten soundly at the gym. Stock up on supplies at the Mart before you try it. Alright, maybe. No promises. I don't know, that's probably a good idea, actually. I don't know where the Mart is. Altid evolves at level 21 into a fluffier flying cat owl thing. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you for the information. No, that actually was really, really nice, useful information. Altid evolves at level 21. I like it, and I can't wait to see what Altid's going to look like. So it's going to be pretty cool. All right, here's the Mart. What do you have to say? Is there anything on sale? It's rather sad. There's so much stuff here, yet I can only buy eight or so different items at the register. Where's the fun in that? Yeah, I know, right? I wrote a song about Great Balls and about how excellent they are. Want to hear it? No? No, I do want to hear it. Oh, why can't I... Why can't I respond by putting in a voice command? Alright, what do you got? Probably buy some super potions. We got two. Can we afford... Oh, yeah, we can hardly afford any of these. Alright, let's see if I can sell anything to you. Let's see if that's going to help at all. We got a rare candy, a couple super potions. Revive a potion. Alright. Uh, escape rope, repel. Oh, Stardust, we can sell this. A thousand, that's not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing. But we do have a water stone, that's really nice. I forgot where we, we got that, it's been a while. Uh, we got some TMs and HMs, which I don't think we can sell, which is fine. Don't want to sell them. We got berries. X attack, that's something we could sell for 250. Alright, that brings us to 4,000. Let's see how many super potions we can buy. It's probably what we want to invest in here anyway. Uh, let's just get three. I don't know. I mean, we could have afforded three before, but now we have a little bit of money left over. Uh, repels. Do I have any of these? I do. All right, that's fine. We're okay on repels. Pokeballs. I have 25 of those. I can buy some great balls, though. I don't think I have... Oh, I have one of those. I probably found it out there somewhere. Wow, great balls are expensive. I can only afford a few of them, so I'm going to buy two and just call it a day. Spend most of our money, you know, big deal. We'll just get more by defeating other 10-year-old trainers and stealing their lunch money to buy potions and Pokeballs. Davern loves caves. Apparently, he grew up in one, so he built his gym in a cave and used his cave Pokemon to battle. Does that make him a caveman? Ha 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 ha. I work for the gym leader, Davern. My Pokemon and I constantly excavate the surrounding caves, converting them into pathways and living spaces. That's kind of cool. Alright. I like just going around talking to people, finding like the flavor text and... Oh. Oh, can't go in there. Alright. Um, I didn't realize it was actually closing off. This probably goes to another route. I don't think I want to go there quite yet. Did I go into these houses yet? I don't remember. I don't think I did. If bad guys like Team Rocket actually existed, they wouldn't stand a chance against me. Alright, you tell them, kid. To be honest, I'm a little worried about these video game things. Well, I don't know, there's not a whole lot to worry about. Video games are a great way to enjoy yourself, have a lot of fun. If you give them a chance... Oh, is this a school? 
I love how the school actually has computers like a normal school would. That's pretty That's pretty nice. Um, seats in the way. I can't sit down, though. Does Smoky Town even have a school? Well, no. Usually only one town in a region has a school. I heard there was a professor who studied evolution somewhere. Like Professor Bamboo, right? What was his name? His name was Ernest. Ernest Bamboo. Spruce or some Summit? Okay, I've never heard a kid say something like that. I think it's a danger. I think it's dangerous for young kids to just leave home and go adventuring like you do. Yeah, it probably is. You're right, actually. It's really interesting how the kids are so into learning. I've never seen them like this before. Oh, that's great. That's really good to hear. Learning is good, everyone. Ooh. I didn't think I could go in here. What's what's in here? Oh, there's kids in the cave. All right. It's kind of strange, I guess. Oh, hey. Would would you mind battling just for practice? You know, uh, not right now. I want to take on the gym. Are these people all... Yeah, they're all here to battle. That's pretty cool. Alright, so if I end up being under level, there's four kids in this cave I can battle. I don't know why they're in a cave, but hey, they're in a cave. Okay, that was the right way to get in. That's good. Alright, so we'll probably take them on after the gym, unless I just, you know, completely get destroyed in the gym, in which case we will use those kids to, uh... Help train our Pokemon to the next level. Alright, I think we've talked about everyone in Burl Town. I don't know, I mean, Burl Town's like a nice place, but the people here are a little bit elitist. Like, Burl Town's so perfect, all those other towns aren't, and they're really bad, and we don't like the people that are- Oh, no. Not one of these places. Gym guy here, ready to give you tips again. This time, the leader is Davern. He specializes in Pokemon found in caves. That's ground, dark, and po- What? I thought he'd just be rock type or something. That's really cool. He's got what? What? Oh, oh! I thought he had all those too. Okay, well, underground and fighting are all good types to take in the battle here. All right, that's that's pretty cool. He's got multiple different types of Pokemon, just Pokemon that are found in caves. I like that. This cave is dangerous. Only the manliest men can pass through it. Hey, hey, that's wrong. You don't have to be a man to go through this cave. In fact, I believe there was an option to be a female trainer, in which case if I chose that option, I'd still be able to beat you just as easily and then pass through this cave. What say you now? That's what I thought. Silence. Give him a karate chop, Mankey. Although I think this guy's a ground type, so he's... Oh, oh my gosh, that is... Oh, I don't like this. Oh, oh wow, nice. Critical hit. Good job, Mankey. I thought you were doomed, but no, you did very, very great. Okay, you're gonna do good against this guy. You might be a little bit slower because of Bulldoze, but you're gonna give him your best karate chop. Hiya! And he has. Oh, he hung on with Sturdy, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> See, I know how this game works sometimes. Alright, headbutt. Um, finish him off with Rock Smash. Alright, good job, Mankey. Alright, so I am a tiny bit over leveled, actually, which is a little bit weird considering, uh,. The people outside this town were about level... around this level? I don't remember what they were, actually. Alright, where do we go now? Go down? Yeah. I like this place. This is a really cool gym, actually. Oh! I am a ghost! It was like a ghost version of me. I, I know it's supposed to be a reflection, but it doesn't really look like a reflection. Alright, let's see what the, this guy has to say. My Pokémon will tear apart your team. Oh, that's, that's kind of vicious. I don't know if I like this fisherman. Spoony, okay, uh, you're like water poison or something, right? So fighting's not gonna do too great against you, I think. Is that the other way around? Let's give him a karate chop to find out. Yeah, it's not gonna do too great, I didn't think so. See, I, I just wasn't always part bug type. It's bug, water, maybe. Fury swipes! Show him you're angry, okay, or you could just miss every single swipe. See, um, I wasn't sure because my Pokemon knowledge is a little bit rusty, I haven't played in quite a while, um, you know, with my time off. Alright, it looks like we're gonna get the job done with those Fury Swipes. Great job, Mankey, you're doing very good, exceptionally well, in fact. Uh, he's gonna send out Fortog. I think I will change Pokemon here. Let's go with, um, see, Fortog is like water poison, so let's try Kinet Monk. I don't know if Kinet Monk knows any Electric-type moves, or, well, I know, I just don't remember. All right, Kinet Monk. Let's see what you got. Oh yeah. Um, let's do a charge and oh uh, well, we could probably just do Thunder Shock, right? Now let's just do Charge first. That'll raise my special defense anyway. Plus it'll make Thunder Shock 
it'll it should be like a one shot for sure all right that's not a special attack so charge did nothing there except power up this attack which may or may not have KO'd him in one hit anyway but Kinect Monk gets the job done Fortog has been defeated good job Kinect Monk he's gonna send in Magikarp so I am going to switch um I think I want to send out or Chinx. I think because here's my thinking here Magikarp gives attack EVs and I think Orchinx is gonna be one of those Pokemon that uses a lot of physical attacks I mean I got Metal Claw and Vine Whip they're both physical so we're just gonna defeat Magikarp it's basically just an easy attack EV that's how I always view a view <laughs> where'd that come from that's how I always view Magikarp Ooh, I've never seen this Pokemon before let's uh, actually let's just leave Orchinx out here Braylip oh my gosh what are you? Kill it with Vine Whip. I don't have fire to kill it with, and the fire probably wouldn't be too effective against it. It's like some kind of brain fish with like the biggest smiley mouth ever and no eyes. That is kind of disturbing. All right, brain fish, Bray Lip. All right, uh, that was a little bit scary there. But we have defeated Fisherman Martin. Looks like you're manly, all right. Why is everyone here obsessed with being manly? Kind of a, it's kind of weird. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. If you know what I mean, I don't know what I mean. So I hope you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, that's all he has to say. He just jumps at me and gives me a nice, uh, a nice uh, sweet chin music, a la Shawn Michaels. I mean, just look at that kick. Tone me. All right. Uh, you're some kind of flying type. So man, he's probably not going to be too great here. I'm not that over leveled. I mean, th this guy's level 14. Um, let's see. So no, Cadet Monk. Cadet Monk's good against flying types. I'm guessing he's like flying poison or something. Just to yeah, there we go. I mean, I know we fought Tony before, but again, it's been a little while. I don't know why I didn't use uh, well, that didn't actually do a whole lot of damage at all. Uh, let's charge up first. I don't know. I don't know how much more damage this will do, but it's worth a try, right? Okay, good. We didn't get poison there. Yeah, I guess it's not flying type. Maybe it's just poison. I don't know how it's not a flying type, though. Unless it's, like, flying and then something else that's just, uh, not weak to electric or resist electric a little bit. I don't know. That's, that, that's like, the really fun part about playing these. Oh, Mankey leveled up. Nice. That's the really fun part about playing these, uh, games with different Pokemon in them. Because you don't know, and there's no, like, you can't, like, look them up. They're not on websites like Cerebi or whatever that... Uh, what? Place to put an item here. Gem? Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the gym puzzle. I bet the gem's in one of these rocks. That's kind of cool, actually. Um, we have to find it, though. Um, if it's not in one of these rocks, then I would guess it's probably... Um... Like, there's, like, some kind of item finder, maybe. I really hope I don't have to find it again if I find it in the first place. Actually, let's, uh... Alright. Just gotta make sure it's not there. You know, like, one of those hidden items that are invisible. But I think it's in one of these rocks. And I think once I break the rock, it will, like, let me know. I guess that explains why there's, like, other paths with just random, uh... Rock smash rocks. I didn't think you can get anything from them, though. This one looks like the one. This is going to be the rock. You know why? Because it's right by the water. You can see the reflection of the rock. Okay, that wasn't it. Uh, is it this? No, it's not that. It's not that. Alright, let's try this one. This one looks like it could be... Oh, there's the gym leader. Look at him. He's got like a spelunker hat on. Okay, it wasn't that one. Was it this one? It, yeah, it's got to be this one, right? Because it's like on an off path or something. It's got to be this one. What do we have? Nothing. Okay. And... I don't think this one's very likely, but we'll see. Let's see what's in this one. Yeah, nothing. Okay. If that was the one, I was just going to say, um... You know, I said it wasn't likely because the game knows and I would jinx it into something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. There's got to be one of these, though. I mean, there's like three rocks on the screen right now, so that increases your chances. There's something in the ground. It's a bright gem. Alright, we got the bright gem. Alright, let's go put it down into its proper slot. 
and then we'll heal up our Pokemon and fight the gym leader. We're gonna, we're not messing around today, you know, I'm back doing YouTube now, hopefully consistently this time, and you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold back against this guy, oh, it's kinda weird, okay. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's heal up, bag, and a couple of super potions, uh, I guess we can use a regular potion first, um, Let's use our regular potion against on Kinet Monk. Guess we'll use our super potion on Maggie. Although we don't really, it's a little bit overkill, but at the same time, it's like uh, it's not really that overkill. Well, I mean, it's it's complete overkill. I don't know what I'm trying to say there, but it's necessary because I think Maggie's gonna do good against this guy. Oh, what the? Okay. Hey, trainer! Congrats on making it here. You know, as a kid, I always loved caves and the Pokemon that lived in them. So when I grew up, I decided to make it so everyone could access and explore them. Well, that's kind of cool. I built this gym, you know, and helped dig the passage through Comet Cave. But caves are dangerous. The Pokemon in them are powerful. Show me that you're not afraid. Alright. Black Ice versus Daverd. With a Splunker hat and a pickaxe, it looks like he's ready to play Minecraft. Okay, level 13 bear Give him a karate chop, Mankey. Yeah. He's gonna hold on with Sturdy, I bet. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna finish it off with Rock Smash, and then I'm gonna follow that up with Focus Energy. Oh, right, he's gonna use the Potion. I should've just used, uh, Karate Chop. Oh, but it, it didn't matter. I got him anyway. Rock Smash was enough. Alright. Uh, David's gonna send out Modrile. Okay, uh, that sounds like something that might be scary. Oh, that, he's kind of cool. He's a mole with a drill for a nose. It's... I mean, I'd hate to be him when he's got allergies. I mean, that that can't be fun. I mean, if he tries to blow his nose, it's going to go right through the Kleenex. Magnitude 9. Oh my gosh. That's going to... Yeah. That's bad. Okay, so we got a ground type on our hands here. Hmm. Send out Alten. Because Alten can't get hit by Magnitude. Suck it, I made a good move. Alright, give him a wing attack. He's probably not going to do much damage, but chip away. Ooh, he's got Metal Claw, that's a little bit scary. It did a lot of damage there. Come on, Alten, you got this. You can take one more Metal Claw. And... I'm not going to risk wing it. I'm, I mean, wait, is Quick Attack actually more powerful? I know I've checked this before in this LP, but forgive me here. I want to make sure I make a good move here. Uh, where are your moves? They are right here. Alright, wing attack is 60, quick attack is 40. Alright, we do wing attack then. Because I didn't want to risk uh, doing quick attack if I wasn't sure we could defeat him. So, Modrile or Modrill, the mole with the drill for a nose has been defeated. Alten gets some experience there. Grozard, alright. Um, I will change Pokemon. Uh, let's send out. Send out Orchings. I don't want to send out S'more because he's Fire type. Although Orchings is not too good against Ground types because Orchings is Steel type. So this is going to be a little bit interesting. Um, ground is not weak to Steel, so I'm going to go and open with a Vine Whip. And he's faster. Wow. All right. So luckily, Grass is resistant to Ground. I wasn't sure about that, but we take normal damage against Ground type attacks, and one vi Vine Whip gets rid of the Grozard. And, ooh, Tofarang. That sounds like a cool Pokemon. Uh, let's leave in Orchinks. Whoops, I didn't mean to do yes. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's like the evolved Pokemon of that other thing. But luckily, here's the thing here. It's probably Poison type, right? We got Metal Claw. But first, we're going to use Leech Seed, just in case he's Infestation. Oh, so he's like Bug Poison or something. Infestation is uh, pretty... Pretty nasty, though, if I remember correctly. That's a Gen 6 move, so I'm actually kind of surprised that's in here. That's kind of cool, actually. All right, but we did manage to get him leech seated. Oh, it's going to hurt over time. That's right. Uh, let's use Metal Claw. And hope it's super effective by some miracle. No, it's not. All right. Um, this is not going to be as easy as I thought, but he can't poison me, so I have that. And... Like I said, he's obviously the evolved form of that uh, that other Pokemon. I can't remember its name off the top of my head right now, but we just bought it. Like, one of the trainers had it. 
But it looks like I am going to come out on top here, and um, if I get the attack bonus for Metal Claw, or what's the defense bonus? I forget if you get... I think you get an attack bonus if you use Metal Claw. Well, you know, there's a chance. I don't think it was defense, but yeah, we're doing some good damage. He's not able to keep up with the, the Leech Seed, and I'm freed from the infestation. I'm just going to use a potion, that's fine. Hopefully I'll get my attack bonus here, that'd be perfect. Nope, alright, but we are going to get the extra health from Leech Seed. Yeah, this is why Orchinx is like the best Pokemon in the freaking world right now. Because it's tanky, and I'm getting all my health back. And, you know, he just can't do anything. I'm just outlasting him, basically. I mean, I'm not doing a whole lot of damage, but... He just he can't do anything to stop me right now. He's gonna use the Infestation again, that's fine. And we're gonna finish him off with Metal Claw. Oh, come on! Oh, well, we'll finish him off with the Leech Seed then. <laughs> fine. Fine, be that way, you jerk. Alright, great job, Orchinx. Wow, MVP of the fight for sure. And level 16, awesome! Good job, Orchinx. I love you. You deserved it. Alright, thanks, and thanks for the money, too. Nice job, kid. You showed yourself and your Pokémon to be brave above or below ground. You've definitely earned the Bright Gem Badge. Here, hand me the stone you found on the way here. That's really creative, actually. And here we are. Yeah, that thing you used to open the door was actually the badge. Surprised? I am. Pleasantly so. That's really cool and creative. We got the Bright Gem Badge from Davern. Davern. Oh, and before I forget, take this TM. It'll help you crush your opponents. Brick Break. Ooh, that's a really good attack for Mankey, actually. Thanks. Make good use of it. I will. Alright, so we're gonna get out of here. If I can remember where to go. It's this way. Also, it's kind of hard to control when I'm running. Uh, this way, up, and to the left. And then down. And then out. Bye, Jim Guy. Thanks for uh, being being a gym guy. All right, so that was really fun. Um, very, very happy to be back playing some Pokemon Uranium. Uh, let's heal our Pokemon. So, you know, we, we took on, defeated the gym leader after coming to the new town our first day here. I'd say that's very successful. And uh, next time, we are going to battle those kids in that cave, and then we'll go check out the subway system. Maybe that's fixed. And if not, then we'll just go on to that other route that we saw. So, yeah. Ooh, oh, almost forgot. Uh, this save. Haha, <laughs> just in case I accidentally mess something up. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, that's gonna do it for me for today. So, thank you all so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, everyone. Have a great day.